great. I'm with our executive briefing center out of Kansas City, our world headquarters for Sprint. We are delighted you are here today. And what we are looking at is a couple of things. If you look at the far back map, you'll notice we have rolled out what we call True Global 5G in nine markets across the country. And as you look at the map through the augmented reality goggles that you see people wearing, you get to see each of these cities expand into the geography of exactly the coverage that we have. We moved up from about 11 million two months ago. We are now covering 16 million people in those nine markets. True Mobile, because we use our 2.5 gigahertz spectrum, the band 41, in order to get people so they can use their devices mobily. Mid-band as opposed to high band, which is often more of a fixed solution at the time because of the way that millimeter wave or high band travels. We've got multiple cities live as well today. We focus on millimeter wave deployment today. Um, and we're seeing speeds of over a gigabit. It's very much different. So we're truly mobile. And we're really happy about that. In front of you, you see an augmented reality experience. The thing that we have that, that really is the foundation of our IoT is called Curiosity. We call it Curiosity IoT. It's a slice of the network, it's the devices, and it's a way to manage all the devices. So we call the experience people are having in front of you a peak your curiosity experience. They put on augmented reality goggles, they walk around the table, and expanding before them, if they look at the city, for example, is all about network densification, and then specific solutions inside of a city, from parking meters to uh, antennas on top of poles. You can go to a home setting, you can go to a distribution center, a tractor trailer, and that's what they're doing in the middle of the space. So, any quick questions about anything I've covered so far? Is Sprint primarily a network solution, or are we building solutions as well? We partner with many people to build solutions. If I would say to the core of what we are, we are absolutely 100% a network. And that's what we've always been, and that's what we will continue to be. But we partner with amazing people to bring those solutions to light and make sure that our customers are delighted on the other end. And that's one place where we really stand out. Okay? Right, spectrum right now is one in the 2.5 gigahertz spectrum. He's asking about band 41 or band 41. So that's what we use on the good old radio dial. It's 2.5 gigahertz. As far as the amount of bandwidth, I'm not as really sure. We use different megahertz channels. So we can do a 20 or a 40 or a 60, but 60 megahertz is sort of the base of what we do for 5G. Does that help? So the cities you have, is it actually expanded? Because I've seen people use 5G and they got to stand right on their telephone pole to play with it. When they walk away, it, it drops. Good point. They're saying, is this uh, really true mobile coverage? Because many of the, the fact that you've experienced, if you're standing under the telephone pole where the radio is, you're great. But if you walk away, then it goes away. So the good news is, with 2.5 gigahertz spectrum in the mid band, because of the shape of the wave, we don't have that problem as much. We will see a decline in speed if we perhaps go inside. But in a recent test I did in Chicago, where I had uh, our, our phone in doing 5G with a massive MIMO radio around the corner, I was still able to get 150 megabits per second when I went inside a shop. However, I took a competitor's phone and I went inside the shop and I got no 5G at all. So you're referring to high band or right. millimeter wave in certain instances. Right. Your line of sight is much more favorable to that kind of coverage. Okay.